The ocean occupies 71% of the surface of our planet and is the home to a vast number of different yet beautiful species. But through humanity's carelessness, 65% of South Africa's waste ends up in our oceans, which not only pollutes the beauty of our seas, but degrades the quality of the water through the decomposition of the waste material. The environment is the foundation of humanity's well-being. Everything we need to survive is provided willingly and sometimes unwillingly. But have we taken accountability for the impact that the human interaction has on our environment? Our everyday consumption plays a major role on environmental degradation. Our continuous demand and lifestyle habits is at the core of this degradation. We are simply a throwaway society and our demands on resources and thoughtless pollution is taking its toll not only on our environment but on its surroundings as well. An environmental change can begin today with each individual making small lifestyle changes which can ultimately lead to the global solution of waste pollution. For every single use item that we use, there are more environmentally friendly alternatives. Plastics are the greatest scorch of our planet. Once in the sea, they don't just break down and disappear. They break down into smaller particles which are consumed by our marine species, large and small, killing them off as effectively as poison. There are simple lifestyle changes that we can all make today to make choices that are more environmentally conscious, lessen our use of single-use plastics, but most importantly, implementing the environmental big five R's. Recycle, reduce, reuse, rethink, and most importantly, respect. Keeping our oceans clean keeps aquatic ecosystems alive and healthy. Without them, our world's natural cycles are disrupted and this affects everything from ocean currents to weather cycles. They are that important. Future generations deserve better from today's generation. How can we live in a world but yet destroy its beauty and expect the future generation only to ever see a glimpse of its beauty on photographs or old copies of National Geographics. We need to, we must do better so that they will be able to see, feel and experience all of the Earth's wonders without having to clean up our mess. Continuing a legacy of preservation and conservation that we have passed on to them. A wise prophet once said, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, but merely borrow it from our children. Let's give it back to them in a perfect condition. Because the solution begins today. If 8 billion people all began to say that waste stops with me.